Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. Conversion tracking is so, so, so important, guys. I need to repeat this again and again because I see so many of you guys are doing all this work in your Google Ads account, but you don't have conversion tracking set up properly. I just audited an account. This week, a guy had spent $15,000 on his ads and he didn't have conversion tracking set up. It blew my mind. So he paid me to go into his account and give a lot of feedback and I go to the conversion settings. This isn't it here. This is a different account, but in his account and he had double counted his conversions. He'd installed conversion tracking twice. So it meant that every time someone purchased from him, the pixel fired twice and it showed in the account that he got double the sales that he actually got. This made it really, really hard as I went through the account to get anything tangible because we can see, yes, what people are searching with, but knowing, okay, what keywords are generating the results, what products in the shopping campaign are generating results, what search queries, all that sort of stuff, we couldn't see it because we didn't know if the data was correct. If you don't have that data, it's gonna make it so much harder. And this is exactly why. Firstly, Google needs that data itself for the automated bidding strategies. Anything that you're doing, even your whole account, Google uses your conversion data to figure out who to show your ads to. If you don't have this set up properly, then you're crippling Google basically. But not only that, but number two is that you're crippling yourself because as I went into this account and as you go into your account, you need to be able to look at the data and know what's working, what isn't working, and then make adjustments. Because with Google accounts, this is how it works, guys. You don't start the campaigns and it goes amazing the first time. That can happen, but usually it's a long process of months and months of work, optimizing those accounts, adding negative keywords, expanding out those ad groups and the, the key to new keywords, doing the bidding management, doing demographic bidding adjustments, all these little tweaks create this long-term growth, whatever way it looks, going up and up and up and up. It takes months and months. If you don't have conversion data, you can't make those changes yourself and it just really makes it much harder. You're just running blind. And so this guy, he had no idea if he was actually making a profit. He said, you know, I think I'm breaking even. I look at his account, I couldn't tell him either because I'm just going, okay, this this data means nothing. Like the cost, we can trust the cost because of course that's Google's data there, but the conversion values, the number of conversions, the ROAS, cost per conversion, it, it meant nothing because it wasn't set up properly. So set this up guys and make sure that when you set this up, I've got a video on setting it up with Google Analytics, setting up the e-commerce and everything so it tracks all the transactions and pulls it into your Google Ads account. I'll leave a link in the description to that video, but also double check, make sure that it matches what's in Shopify. Go check analytics, check Shopify, make sure it matches. And of course, you probably know this already, but there's gonna be a discrepancy. And it's really sad that this is a big problem that's ha that has existed in digital marketing for a long time, where it's there's no, there's no one attribution model or tracking method that's perfect. Like even Google is off, uh, usually it's usually off, but you wanna get it, accurate more or less within a couple of percent just because if it's off like this guy's account by a whole hundred percent it was a double and some periods he didn't have it turned on man you've got nothing you're just flying totally blind um and so that's so important to get that set up go check your account make sure that that is set up properly so yeah guys that's it guys i just wanted to share this video make sure you set this up because i see this again and again i audit a lot of accounts people come to me for audits so i'll put a link in the description if you want an audit of your own store and your own account we can do that for you uh, but usually the first thing i check always when i go into an account for an audit is conversion tracking i go in there check conversion tracking because i know that that's going to change the whole audit if it's not set up properly i'm going to have to focus on different things but if it is set up properly or at least i'm very confident that it is then it's going to help the whole everything I do in the account and if I'm working on the account it's going to help that too it's also why when we start working with clients even if you've set up your conversion tracking yourself we're going to go through and confirm it even put through a fake transaction just to make sure yep it's working it's fine we know for sure because the worst thing is when you start spending any money even a few hundred dollars and you find out oh we were getting sales but we couldn't see it in the account so all that data yeah we got some sales but we don't know what what, uh, what shopping ad that was, uh, what search campaign that was, what remarketing banner design that was. So it makes it really hard to optimize. Really recommend doing that. That's it for today's video, guys. Hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.